Oi, hello, sorry, I was the world last time. Hello, welcome to IMHO. In my homosexual opinion. I'm Dobby Bibes. I'm Alexis P. Bevels, the P stands for pussycat, which is what you whoa, are. Whoa, 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 I'm a pussycat in mourning. Spoiler, but you knew this going into this. If you're new to this channel, this is the wrong episode to start. Cheryl Hall. Spoiler. Died. And she left a hole in our hearts and our television screens. So I decided to pay homage to her, her final look. Now, the top that I had ordered for this, that I, I was just gonna be sparkly and beautiful, didn't come in. So I am just kind of wearing this You can order tops. LOL. So I just was wearing this t-shirt. I was like, I feel like I'm just wearing a t-shirt. And you said. No, I don't, I don't want to say. Well, it doesn't look any worse than what she wore. No, I did say that, but I was, I was doing it for funny. I was doing it for funny, Listen, Shez, listen, listen. Because Shez loves it, that was a really cute... Actually, I don't agree. We're going to get into it. I thought she looked really cute for the first and the second. Yes. The judging wasn't... It... The judging was consistent with the UK judging. Ooh. I don't think it was consistent with logic or reason. It's me sipping the tea, mate. The night that the episode aired, I posted this on Twitter, so maybe you saw it, but I got a text from Shez that said, <laughs> I hope you're okay. <laughs> ah! Ah! Uh, that was so funny because when we did lose Cheryl, you know, forever, we're never gonna see her again, I did get a ton of DMs and tags and Twitter posts oh. and people just going, I'm thinking about Darby tonight. Like, so... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, and just so you know, correct energy, because even, even Cheryl was worried. <laughs> <laughs> no, Cheryl's a superstar. This isn't the last we've seen of oh her. Oh my god, of course not. I mean, she's all over the TV. She's huge. She's in huge, BB, in the, huge in, 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 over there. Over there, in the UK. We're gonna go visit her. Well, she's gonna We just gotta get through us. this year, and then, well, she's gonna come here, I think, and then after this year, we can go visit her, maybe. They would like us singing over there, I think. You can sing Memory. Memory, Cheryl's dead to me. I was, I took, too far. No, I loved that. Thank you. Because so, cats have nine lives. She's not fully dead. She's got at least seven more. Every now and then. <laughs> every now and then you get it right. God damn it, Bevel. Well, you teed it up. You teed God it up for me. God damn it, Bevel. You, I've literally hit you over the head with, base, with golf it up. balls <laughs> to turn you on. And you've never gotten it. That was incredible. A plus. You know, I worked at a golf course once, and I did get, I did have to drive that car that had a cage on it I that rolled up the golf ball. Car. This was before, was like, fun? iPods or anything, so you just had to be there with your own thoughts. It was hell. Oh. But I did like it. Do you remember, oh, Discman's? They're Walkmans, but CDs, but before the skipping protection. So literally, yes. it was a portable CD player that you, you had to keep move. level. You, you had to keep level. You couldn't move. slide it in your Jinko's pocket. Then, when they did have skip protection, which meant you could kind of move it, it would be 30 seconds. So when I would be mowing the lawn, and I would, like, so angry, because I was, I hated doing that. I still do. Oh my God, me too. But I would be like, well, at least I have this seat. I could listen to 30 seconds of a song. Song, and then it would go, uh, 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 and I'd have to stop moving. Oh so I'd my stop God. the mower and I would <laughs> stand still, and then I'd get another 30 seconds of the song, and then I'd have to stop the mower. And that's how I mowed we, the lawn because I was a fucking idiot. We could do a whole episode on mowing culture <laughs> because yes. I fully hated it and they made me do it. Hated and it. in my mind, our yard was two football fields long. Same. Now, because Google Earth, I know it was like not that. It was like maybe as big as your apartment. And Brag. Which is big. And I hated it. I hated it. I hated it. And I'm allergic to like outside. Same. The sun. <sighs> Horrible. The thing is that like I had I had a straight twin counterpart right so my straight twin yeah, counterpart, wait. we would split because we also we lived on a corner so we had a, <gasps> we did have a large yard I will say one of us would take the front yard and one of us would take the backyard but like Memphis heat well you grew up in Texas oh goddamn awful and humid okay you know what they say about Arizona yeah it does get hot but it's, it's a, a dry, dry heat. heat it's a dry yeah. heat Opposite. Uh, so wet. Imagine wet heat. Imagine a ceiling out, fan and this fan on the side, one of those standing. If I was in Memphis right, you just see nipples. Fans. Imagine both of those on high, blowing at you on. with the air conditioning, you would see sweating it. on your bed. 
Disgusting. God. Night sweats, nine months out of the year. But you know what? That's great because when women do eventually, or I'm sorry, when, when human beings go through menopause, it is a nice preparation. H. Any time in my history when I have said, I hate Texas, I'll never go back, I'm specifically referring to the heat first. And mm. Texas is like Republicans and hates women and... Okay, maybe, maybe not every time. Right. Is there anything else? Yes. I do have something. What? It's not a podcast recommendation or a game recommendation. Although I have been playing Granny and I beat the easy level, but now I'm on to normal and I can't beat that one. I should do Twitch. It's a good update. Okay, no, I have a, I have a, up, I have an update. No, 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 wait, wait. Okay, can I just listen? I support you. Okay. And I support your art. Thank you. Thank you. We already have two jingles. And it's just, just from a, okay, from an editor's point of view, okay. it's just like adding that clip in. It takes one to two minutes that I could be using editing even more beauty onto your face. <laughs> Do you really want me to take time away from doing that to including this clip? Well, personally, I feel like there's not much more we can do. You know what I mean? God damn it, you got me there. <laughs> All right, go ahead. I worked really hard on this one. I actually, <laughs> I actually think it's good. I think it's good. Okay. And it's, Ugh. okay. When you're bored at home and you need something to do, you can eat some chips or walk around a zoo. But I got something that I think you should know. It's my brand new obsession. It's a TV show. It's called Inventing Anna. Check, Check out this TV show. You uh, guys. <laughs> okay, that was pretty good. <laughs> so the jingle, what is it leading up to? Would I said it. It's show? called Inventing oh, Anna. Is this a new horror show about inventing no, Anna? No, 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 no. Hollywood's no. number one terror. <laughs> Yeah, I, that's a brilliant idea. No, this is the new Netflix Shonda Rhimes. It's a mini love series, her. so it's not going to be multiple seasons. I love um, that. It is about the true story of a woman who just pretended she was an heiress and just convinced everyone that she was rich so they would pay her way to do stuff. I'm on yes. episode two. Yes. There's nine episodes. I'm exactly. We're talking. Yes. I'm already so in. I know. And it's Anna oh. Klumsky, my girl. Veep. That's I like so it and I think you'll like it too. Well, I, I have followed that story. I very much enjoy the sheer audacity of Anna. She's kind of a shero. Yeah, no. I do not view her as a villain, <laughs> ultimately. In this world... It's Robin Hood. It's modern day Robin Hood. Take what you... And then... Oh, okay. Podcast recommendation. Hold on. Oh, I guess I... You walked right into that one. I set myself up for that one. Okay, wait. Podcast recommendation. Thank you. You know, we could pay for the membership where you can get the the thing taken off so it doesn't just say the brand on it. I'll pay the $2 a month. If they may would no. like to donate towards her <laughs> acapella membership. My favorite murder this week is This is Criminal. So Phoebe Judge. Criminal, my favorite... Listen, Criminal, my favorite podcast, and then my favorite murder, our favorite, like that we bought. We love over it, it, yeah. They did a joint episode, and Phoebe Judge tells a story, and it is phenomenal because she's. Phoebe I haven't fucking... listened to it yet. You can tell me though, I'm excited. Oh, no, no, no. I, I, it's, it's not about that one specifically. It's so good. I just, I'm obsessed with Phoebe Judge, but at the end of it, they're just going back and forth complimenting each other. Mm -hmm. And Phoebe's like, it's just incredible, mm -hmm. like the, the fan base that you have built with your show, that so many people are so devoted to you and love you. That's just not something I think a lot of us podcasters have. And I was thinking, Phoebe Judge, I would literally kill for you. I would become a story on Criminal. Now, are there certain people I wouldn't kill for you? Possibly. Are any of them in this room? No. So just let me know. But it got me thinking about criminal. No, 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 don't do math. Okay. Girls don't do math. <laughs> okay. Do silly. So then I went over to criminal and the new criminal this week is about a small town, a lobster town, if you will. <gasps> Think just a Gordon's fisherman. Yes. <laughs> Think of fish sticks. Think of Murder, She Wrote. Think of Cabot Cove. Okay, yes. And there's this guy who just, not great. Not a great guy. Okay, he was the, a menace to the town his entire life. He <laughs> stole constantly. And it just kind of became a thing of people just being like, the cops weren't going to do anything about it. And he just, he spent 43 years just stealing. He would steal from lobster traps. So he would go in the middle of the night. 
when oh. he would steal from mobster traps. Kind of poach vibes. Poaching. Poach. And then if he just didn't like the people who owned the traps, he would cut the line and then the traps would sink to the bottom of the ocean and never would be seen again, which would cost thousands of dollars. And it was just something that like the police well, wouldn't do anything about. And he was just like the town kind of nuisance, but everyone was just like, well, he's fucked up, whatever. Anyway, finally, sorry, spoiler. One of the, the lobster people <laughs> saw him and um, shot him, or no, <gasps> tried to shoot him, did shoot him, drowned him, killed him. And the town was very split because half the town was like, yeah, fuck him. He has spent his entire life, decades, just making our lives so much harder. But then there was another side of the town that was like, yeah, he would steal your shit, but if you needed it, like, he would steal your four-wheeler, let's say. I would never let you have one. I just, I don't want you to die. Thank you. By your own hand, I'd rather it be mine. But he'd steal like your four-wheeler and then I'd be like, I really need a four-wheeler. And he'd be like, oh, here. So he was kind of robbing kind of hooding, really hooding about. But he was also just, he was also stealing from, from poor people. So I guess he was like Robin Hood if like Robin Hood, you know, had a sociopathic issue. But Robin Hood. <laughs> <laughs> Completely lost my train of thought. No, that was the, that was the that was the uh, the connection. Okay, good, I did it. I think probably in olden times, Robin Hood they weren't doing circumcisions yet, so he probably he probably Stop. was double hooded up. Should we just get into it? Yeah, there's a lot of looks. Yeah, so in general, same old same old as far as drama and stuff. So we're just yeah. gonna go to the ball. I do have one quick. Yeah. Couplet, rhyming couplet. Yeah, please. To, Cheryl's got a bloody digit while bag is napping in the corner, in it. Maybe you have to do it in an accent. Try it again. Cheryl, Cheryl's got a bloody digit while bag is napping in the corner, in it. Yeah. And then the younger gals seek advice from Miss Juju while the rest of the gals design frocks for Mamaru. Try the accent again. But this is there. That's um the world. So uh, J J Jennifer Lopez. The younger gals, wait, Jennifer Lopez, the younger gals seek advice from Miss Juju while the rest of the ladies design frocks for Mamaru. Let's get loud! <laughs> we start the runway with RuPaul wearing what would have been appropriate for her to wear last week, an American drag race. Mm. This was such a beautiful spring look. Yeah. I was like, ma'am, I'm sure you know what happened. Her baggage got mixed up, okay? And she said, she said, send this one to London and send this one. Oh, well, I guess she didn't have to send that one because she lives in LA. She's like, um, oh, got it. Uber, send this one. And then the pl plane, send this one. That's the wrong one. Maybe she, um, no, I'm gonna drop it. I was gonna try to make baggage I should, and bag up. No, I should have dropped it as well. <laughs> <laughs> we learned from that. The category is, Cat, kitty girl, meow. Hey, kitty girl. Yes. It's your world. Bitch. Pangina heels. This hairless sphinx. So I saw the look on Twitter. I, I use the internet. And I wasn't exactly sure what it was, but I thought it was cool. And then when she was like, I'm a hairless sphinx, I was like, yes, of course you are. That's so cool. Loved it. Loved the titties. All them titties. I loved the reveal. I loved the weird eye pieces with the, the weird, like, cat horns. And I also, I, I love the wrinkly. Like a pinky beige fabric moment. Yeah. The, it all worked for me. I loved it. Really worked for me. Yeah. Janie JK, she's also kind of an Egyptian sphinx cat. It's not as impressive as what Pangina just did. <gasps> oh, okay. Podcast recommendation. I just listened to an episode of Every Little Thing. So people call in with like, hey, why does this happen? And then they investigate. And one girl was like, I think my cat is gonna kill me and eat me one day. Like, I think my cat is a sociopath. So they do the sociopath test on the cat and it turns out they are. And that's because all cats are. That and they sense. go into like kind of the history of cats and shit. It's so interesting. And they said that the reason that cats, like they went from being these like kind of exalted beings in, in the Egyptian world to domesticated is because cats realized they had to appease humans in order to survive. <gasps> so all of the like, lovey-dovey rubbing up kind of stuff instead of it being truly and i'm just saying from what i heard from the podcast i'm not saying that your cat doesn't actually love you probably doesn't but that it's more of a survival thing it's all to manipulate to get what they need see that's why i don't trust them pussies mm -mm. i think she looks beautiful i think it's i think it's a beautifully made costume it it does for me part of me earth to me reads a little 
Halloween costume. Mm-hmm. I'm fully aware of what I'm wearing as I say that. I don't know. What do you think? Yeah. I don't know. It could have gone more cat. <laughs> yeah. Bring us more cat. And then we did with Cheryl Hall. Cheryl Hall. Bob. Shazzy. Shaz. Babs. I think she looks adorable. <laughs> they said it in the judging. She does look like Marie in Aristocats. You seen that movie? Yes, of course. Love that movie. It's so cute. It's it, so cute, and it's it's so Cheryl. If there was ever an appropriate time to wear a cat suit, is for this, and it's she looks great. I saw on Twitter. There's this particular Twitter account that I'm not thrilled with, and it's someone who doesn't do drag that toots her boots individually and goes through every look. And I just I don't love it. I mean, I do love it because I'm able to get the images for our videos, and it makes it a lot easier. <sighs> So thank you for that. But I also like not into it. And they booted it. And okay, great. From your couch at home, when you see Pangina with her naked titties and you're like, yeah, that's not as good as that. Sure. But in a bar, if Cheryl Hole walked into the bar looking like that, you'd be like, oh my God, can I get a picture with you? You look gorgeous. So yeah, before you put her down, lethally, think about that. And think about just why you are doing this. <laughs> You know what? Let's think about why Jujube did this. This is Jujube's kitty cat look. <laughs> Jujube's kitty cat look. Okay. Okay. Ooh. I, okay. I've, I've had a lot of thoughts about this. Do you have any? I'm sorry. I think it's cute. I think I agree with the judges and I, and I had the feeling of bring more bigger drama. It's very adorable. And she always looks gorgeous. The kitty boobs and the, the colors and stuff. I adored. I would wear that dress so proudly. Listen. She did a thousand shows this year. She filmed multiple things and she's oh. always busy and it's a lot of money. She knows the game and she knows who she is. So she does what she does. No, I do love that. That is, that is queen behavior. That's cat behavior. If anything, mm. her working out in that with such confidence, that's it, only something a cat could do. Yeah. The thing that I think would elevate these looks, I think the thing that kind of hit me in the head of like why I don't connect with her cocktail dressy looks, it's the cut of the bottom of the dress. It is always cut at the exact same place. It is always just a straight across cut. I think had this been some sort of different cut, I think it would really bring a lot of money to this look. Yeah. Does that make sense? I think she looks like a beautiful <sighs> woman, cat woman. I think she looks gorgeous. And I also fully support her. Like, I don't necessarily need to go all out for this. I get that. No, yeah, yeah. I as long that. as I'm here, I'm I'm back in the public. I mid. support that. But and I support that it's because she's been consistent throughout. It's always these kinds of looks. Exactly. But I think there are small things she could do within these looks to elevate them. And I think a very small thing she could have done to this look, or just this style in general, which seems to be her go-to. Change the, the cut of the skirt. Make one a high-low. Make one with tulle at the bottom. Like, just a yeah. little something. And we say this with love and respect. I mean, we could Jujube. never be as she's gorgeous as you. Legend Juju icon or, star. Yeah, Truly, we, everything is said with a, the smallest grain of... Um, whatever smallest. The smallest grain of rice with your name written on it. Oh, put it in a necklace. Give it to me. Please. Jimbo from Canada is wearing this Tina Burner cat realness. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. It's really good. I love her makeup in it, too. Jimbo's makeup journey since Canada. Good for yeah, her. Yeah, yeah. That's really I loved cool. also her titties went from large yeah. to medium to small. They were all different sizes. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. From, I love an organized titty. All right, bag of chips and this Cheshire cat. It was ador it was cute. It was adorable. The best thing she's ever worn. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, had the runway only been the cat part, top three. Yeah. I loved that. And she sold it on the runway. Super cute. Jenny, any dots? The cat outfit in general was doing the heavy lifting, I will say. But Jesus Christ, I loved it. That's Did you like it? say about Becca. What? You said heavy lifting. Alexis. I know, I don't have room to talk. <laughs> well, no, I just like, I can't participate in this. <laughs> ah! Blue Hydrangea is a cat. Incredible. It's cool. It's cool. It's it's what what we're seeing from her this season. This was right in her wheelhouse. Futuristic Pussitron 3000, she Bright says. Bright colors, cool, different. It's perfect. 
gorgeous. Blue is on. Uh, I did. I did think it was a really touching moment with Blue and Jujube and Shez, just kind of talking about like identity and and things oh. we've uh, topics we've explored mm -hmm. on this channel. So I won't bore you with my takes on them again. But yeah. Thank you. I love that she's a supportive partner. When she yes. said that, she did think for a moment she might be trans, and that her partner was so supportive. Like. Blue deserves Angels. the world. Blue deserves the world. Talk about deserving the world. Uh, Monique, Mo, uh, excuse me, Mo Hart. Mo Hart in this. But she's Monique on the show. Mo seems to be something that happened. Post. Post. Well, we can call her Mo. No, no, I know. But like, don't feel like you have to be like. You're right. Yeah. Oh my God. Excuse me. Incredible. This is a, inspired by her, her favorite anime. I love that she couldn't say the show. I love copyright. Important. Oh, they do. She did. She was able to say the name of the character. She just wasn't able to say the name of the Because you're not show, allowed to I copy, right? I need a jingle for two when for I get two. one. That was really good. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go on to category two, Butch which Queen. is Butch Queens. Do you want to say the name? Well, yeah, I am the Butch Queen in the room, so I will. Yeah, I so uh, let me just say. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tits. Up first, we had Pangina Heels. Now, in order to really appreciate this look, we had to go on the journey. Of we had she to came explain. Up with yeah. It. It, it ultimately, it ended with Queen Elizabeth uh, hunting, which I think is hilarious. That's and really funny. If you think back, the Vivian on Drag she Race, was, she did the same she look. She did a, a similar look. I, I, it was clever. It was clever. Clever it, girl. It also just kind of made me laugh that anyone from the world side to come to the BBC and be like, I'm going to be your queen. <laughs> like, I fucking love that. She it's deserves just, it. She's got a few things coming to her. Like the Grim Reaper. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not wishing it. If anything, no, no, no. It may have already happened. Thank you for your service. I'm not saying I think she's got a few things coming to her. I'm saying she probably has a few things coming to her. I can't put that in. That truly sounds like a threat. You know what? When it comes to the queen, you are so tunnel visioned. <laughs> I'm holding your phone. I know you can write that. <laughs> again. No. Okay. These are the moments. Hang on. Uh, go. Go to the bathroom. You are. You're on it tonight. <laughs> I, I want you to be able to find this place again, so we must meditate. Okay? okay, okay. So close your eyes. Please don't push me. Imagine in your mind's eye, you're in your kitchen, or you're in a nice kitchen, mm -hmm. and you look out the window. Mm. From your window, what is that you see? Oh. Is that a man drowning in a lake? Oh. Perhaps it is. Do you have time for, to worry about him? No. Mm. Mm. You have been killing it. And he needs to take care of killing himself. <laughs> Alexis, this is serious. <laughs> so just breathe in and send those thoughts and prayers directly to yourself. Fuck that guy. Mm. Okay, you're good. Up next, Janie Jacquet. She is orange is the new black, but like fashion. I enjoyed the idea of it. Mm -hmm. I think if you're gonna go for something so specific, there needs to be more references to the look. Yeah, like she needs to have a pussy right on her face. <laughs> okay, we shouldn't have meditated so much. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no, no, no. As soon as she threw the little thing away, it really was a lot of squinting of going, is she really, okay, I can kind of see it. I mean, it's it's cute, she looks cute. The boots and the shorts, like I, I, yeah, I get yeah. it. Maybe I would have liked it a little more if it was kind of roughed up dirty. Is that? Wait, is that offensive to Butch? Is that offensive to Butch? <laughs> I wouldn't know. Okay, up next, we have our girl, Cheryl Howe. Shez. She was a race car driver, Evil Knievel, Evil yeah. Evil Knievel, the race car driver. It's Butch Queen in the most Butch way Cheryl Howe can do it. I liked it. No, I loved it. Yeah. I think it is... It's a really polished drag look. Do I think it was like butch queen? Not exactly. But to Cheryl, that's a man. Up next we have Gigi B. This is what I'm talking about. The, the cut of the dress. It's the same mini dress with the same cut. It's not we need more, we want more variety. And it wouldn't take a lot. It really wouldn't if this were a romper. Or pants. Or if the skirt was, I don't know, six inches longer, three inches shorter. Like it's just they they all hit her at the exact same spot and they're the, all of the exact same cut. I'm sorry. I'm no, done. I'm dying. It's fine. It. I think it was, I mean, but she looks- it's Jujubee. Again, it's Jujubee. I love it. She does look beautiful. And I like that she went with more like, sorry, sorry. 
we shouldn't have meditated. I think she looks gorgeous. I do think it's kind of like a soft butch. Like, this is a butch woman who... Butch in the sense of, like, she is not to be fucked with. I loved the collar. Like, I loved That's the business. Like but this powerful is, femme energy, I think, too. This could have also been one of her entrance looks. It is that, just kind of. Yeah. No. Oh, God, me too. Meditation. Shit, I'm never meditating again. Never again! She does And, and then her little the... reveal is, yeah. is cute. Again, it's, to me, for me, Earth to me, it confused the category. She does look beautiful. Yeah. Then we have Jimbo Ooh. as a fucking motorcycle. With handlebar tits. Handlebar titties. When I grab onto a nice titty, sometimes I just need a little extra traction. I'm gonna let that shit go. Have you ever ridden on a motorcycle? No, but I've ridden some titties. Ah! Ah! No, I haven't. I, I don't want to die. I would. Would you? Yeah. Wow. It's that easy, huh? I oh, yeah, just, I'll get anything between just my legs. Got me anything. Here's how I imagine it. This is my mind's eye. Put yourself in a car. You're in an Uber. Mm -hmm. You're on a highway. Mm -hmm. You're like, oh my God, the wind is blowing. Like, the window's down. Like, this is a lie. It's going really fast. Now take everything around you away except for your seat, and you're still going that quick. Does that feel good? Yeah, I think that's fun. I feel like, especially with a motorcycle, because you're kind of pitched over, it's like the closest thing you could get to a flying broomstick. Well, I do want to do, I haven't done it yet in Animal Kingdom, the Avatar ride. I'm told it's kind of like that. I like did you're it. on a motorcycle, I did it. right? Did I tell you I did it? No. I did it. I waited with my dad for two hours and 45 minutes. That's why I didn't do it. The worst part about it was you go into this holding cell and they're like, all right, we need to give you your avatar. So we're gonna scan your body. And they actually scan your body and you see like a hologram 3D of your body. And you know, I'll do, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to myself, but I don't like seeing that because it's like children and then and then my dad and then me. And they were like, and you gotta move around to get the scan right. You have to like do this to move around and get the scan right. So then give you your avatar. And they gave my, my avatar. What? Not, not Zoe Saldana. Oh, I've never seen the movie. Oh, really? Yeah, it's like Smurfs, right? Mm hmm but with Titanic overtones. Mm. Anyway, it is fun. There's a whole like green screen up around you. I, I definitely want to do it. It's just, it's one of those things. It's one of the fast passes and stuff or whatever that you want to get for it. They are always gone first because when people book their resort, like when they stay on one of the like resorts thing, they get early access to that. Mm. So people book their fast passes for that months in advance. Yeah, you can't. We had to wait. Wild. We had to wait. I waited an hour once and then realized I still had two hours ahead of me and I was like this isn't how I want to spend my day but Jimbo look right yeah 10 out of 10 no notes gorge cool it's so funny up next we have one of the worst looks on any drag race runway ever bag of chips what about it Ma'am, is drag baga what is it is it that you're wearing heels and earrings that don't make any sense yeah, I don't understand it. I didn't like it. She bought that at an army reserve shop and then put earrings with it. Like, there's such little effort, which I think was the kind of the general note we had at Baga all episode long. Such minimal effort. Yeah, it kind of seems like she doesn't want to be there. Not in a, like, I hate being here, but in like a, just let me have the crown already. I'm not going to put any effort into this, which is because a delusion. Because I'm, I'm a celebrity. Right. right. And to, like, to sit there uh, talking about all the work she's done while Pangina's literally Literally sewing, sewing her, dress. her dress. We're very clear about our feelings at Baga. I'm so happy for her success. I'm so happy she's happy. But I, I as far as this competition goes, she's tanking it. And it's it's frustrating to watch. Oh, you did a little army reference. Oh, I didn't mean to, but yes, she's tanking it <laughs> and explode. So blue hydrangea. Okay. Loved. 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 I mean, it may not read Butch Queen, but it is like... Are you kidding? It read very Butch. Well, I don't know what Butch Queen means, Look, actually. She has but a it, mustache. It's That's strong. What it means. It's a take on strong man and queen. I loved it. That top, it gave me kind of Shein. You know how Shein sort of combines things at random spaces and it doesn't seem like it should make sense? But yeah. And suddenly it does. Sometimes. I loved it. Then we had Monique Hart. This was a butch queen. This was butch queen and this was the my best favorite, butch. the best of the butch. Our favorite butch, killer. Not to mention all the extra surprises, the lipstick, the butt reveal, the lavender, yeah. fully stoned lavender. It's the details, man. Details matter. Mo. Details with details. This, is, this oh. is excellence of the highest order. Mm-hmm, loved. And the final category is make it yourself. Will we wear it? What was it? 
Yeah, I know. I think that's what it is. Make it <laughs> okay. yourself. We'll be we rare. It. We're going to start off with Pangina Heels. Pangina, who, shockingly, but rightly so, said she learned to sew when she got the call for this. She likes to sew by hand. Gorge. Um, gorge. I this loved is. It. Yeah, I love this too. They were saying make it longer. You know, we can the see. The panty, I could tell her, her thought process that the panty wasn't intentional. I wish she had made it look a little more intentional. Like, had yeah. stoned it or made it look like it wasn't. Or maybe just... if it wasn't black tights, maybe if it was new. Right. Right. And then but, but I got it. I got it. I it just... was it was fully Parisian. I loved the makeup. Yeah, of I loved it. Stunning. Janae JK in this kind of disco bodysuit shoulder thing. I thought it was great. Cute. I thought it was cute. She dialed into, you know, what would Rue wear? Rue loves disco moments. I wasn't blown away by it, but I thought it was cute. To Smart. me, for me, Earth to me, it was a it was a safe look. It was very safe. I think it was safe and it was smart. I'm I'm glad she, she gave gorgeous. Mo the little a little credit Her where eyes do. Yeah, the makeup was cool. Fucking stunning. Cheryl Ho, Cheryl Ho, going for a. Who knows? I love my, I love my girl. I love my girl. Shabra, yeah. I love my girl. But this is insane. <laughs> it's insane. It's a lot of things. Maybe take something off, but she made it herself. And from what I know about Essex, which I admit. It's very small, very little. I feel like this is something a school principal would wear. Yeah, I mean, it's she... It's wild, but I think this might be okay in her world. Yeah. I think it's hilarious. It brought me much joy. If they did, if they had an Essex version of The Bachelor, I think 10 out of 20 girls would be wearing something like this. Yeah. Just watching her With sell it, too. Like, it just... Yeah. She turns around, and there's that bejeweled butt crack for no reason. So funny, so chez. She's great. It's fucking great. Juju B, Juju B again with the splayed open skirt panty. Panty. Is but she not, trying? But to again, not a, not an actual panty, like not a, a statement panty, like she did with her first one. I don't I don't get it. I do think this dress is cute. I do think it's cute. I just don't. Th I think the slit is too high if she's gonna hold it open like that. I'll tell you what I do like. I like her in a blonde. I feel like we don't see that very often. Yeah, she looks she looks beautiful. I love her makeup. Very rue. She did look very rue. Jimbo. <laughs> Mm -hmm. This knocked it out of the park. Yeah, she this great. was another version of like Janie did. She said, "I'm gonna do smart, not safe exactly, but something I know Rue would wear." And I think she achieved that. It's beautiful. I mean, you can't the go wrong with hilarious. a sequin dress. The hair was very funny. The hair is funny. It Streets, was intense. Low lights and just flat, 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 and flat, the flat, flat. flat. <sighs> Yeah, Funny. the laughing at yeah. Rue in Rue. She's a cl she's a true clown. Yeah, I in, love her. In that everything she does is a little scary to me. But something that we're getting from her this season that we did not get on her season is a polish that mm -hmm. just wasn't there before. This is a polished fucking look. Yeah, her makeup is. She's doing great. Let's get into this bag of chips. Let's start with positives. Positives? I do think it gives Rue. I've seen Rue in that color a lot. very Rue. I think the hair is great and she looks beautiful. I think she looks gorgeous. It's one of the best things she's ever Yes. However, worn. this shouldn't great. really be. Count. Here's what I think happened. I don't think it should Here's count. what I think happened. I think she made a really baggy look. Bag of baggy. Mm -hmm. And then I think Pangina said, you know what would help that fit better is if you do this. did and some tucks drink, here and then drip this. And the, yes. Yeah, and then she did. And then she did it for her. So I think we were seeing Pangina kind of do those drapes and darts and pleats, which doesn't take a lot of time, but also work on your own thing. And this is a competition and it's kind and of an all-stars competition. I think it's not really fair how much she was saying she did. I also think it should hit the floor. It's not hitting the floor. This combined with that awful G.I. Joe. And the attitude the whole episode. Safe is very generous. Blue hydrangea in this kind of darker per maroon. Ultimately, I liked it. Super well made. I like that she went darker when everyone else seemed to go like bright. Very much gave the essence of RuPaul. I was really proud of her. I it was it. a little hard to see on camera. That's my only complaint. I couldn't like quite see what it was. Mm. But yeah, once you kind of take a look at it and get close up to it, yeah, it's really cool. Oh, before we move on from Baga, I do have to say Mohart saying, the only drag queen I know who can wear a corset and still give no shape. <laughs> That was a good read. Speaking of Mohart, she is in, okay, this is my favorite hair. hair and the, with the, it's oh, because the height, and then it has the like little ponytail, mm -hmm. like she looks mm -hmm. incredible. I love, this, do you want hair like, I'm gonna make you hair like yes. this. Yes. Okay, okay. This is, okay, every single look she delivered, and this one that she fucking made, this was a top. <sighs> 
two. I don't understand it. I really don't. 100%. And I don't care if you can see the ill-fitting. I don't At understand. At least she tried. I don't understand. The top should have been her and Jimbo in my, for me. I'm going to pay. Part of me. Earth agree with you. I'll, I'll, I will, I will say, I don't, I, uh, yeah. Okay, I have to take a picture of JB. Look how cute she is. So the Derek Berry pillow that I was having that chair, I had it on the ground as I was moving shit around, and she crawled on it immediately, and now it's her favorite pillow. She wants to be in a throuple. She's too selfish. She wouldn't make it. The top two are Janie and Jimbo, which doesn't make sense with my fantasy, but I'm glad that they're uh, successful. I love the storyline of Janie going from the bottom to the top. Yeah. From a from a storyline perspective, I understand. And that leaves Juju and Shez, Shawaho in the bottom and up for elimination. Dumb. Doesn't quite, um, don't know. Yeah, I think Baga should have been in there. Let's talk about this lip sync. They got to lip sync to Supermodel of the World, which I thought was not allowed. I loved it though. I'm so sorry. That's two weeks in a row where you've had to see them lip sync to the person who did the song in front of them. Was that giving you a lot of PTSD or? PTSD stands for? Not sure. Then yes. Jimbo is not a lip syncer, and she said that multiple times, but yeah. I love watching her. I enjoyed seeing somebody's uncle just kind of get drunk at a party and try and figure it out. I would have killed to see Mo Hart do this. You know Mo would kill all of those lip syncs. Maybe that's why they're not letting her be in the top, because they know it's just sending whoever she chooses home. It's just giving, well, and just payout after payout after payout. Oh Which no, I'm sorry. Badge after badge, badge after, after badge. badge. And they know that she's already done so much work on her own workroom yeah. stuff that she doesn't have time for that. That jacket in the workroom, get out. I'm glad it got a moment get out, on the side. She looks incredible. Janie wins, which yes. again, love the storyline. Didn't fully go with my fantasy, but I love Janie and good for her. And unfortunately, we <sighs> have to say goodbye yeah. to somebody and Honestly, we probably shouldn't even talk about it. Like, it's not worth talking about because it's just so ridiculous. It's so. not goodbye. It's... Um, Cheryl Ho! Uh, where'd you go? It's... Uh, I'll tell you what. My heart broke when she was back there talking about how much she wanted this and how much she, you know, when she was talking about feelings. And she's just... She's a good character on the show. You may not think that she's the best competitor, but clearly that hasn't stopped Baga. And you know what? Last laugh, Cheryl had because Adele showed up to <gasps> Cheryl's party and- And now they're best friends. And now they're best friends. And Adele told Cheryl, at least according to Twitter, and I believe everything I read on Twitter, told her that she was so sad that she got eliminated. So all in all, Cheryl still wins. Who's laughing now? Who's laughing now? Who's Adele. Adele did get pretty wasted and I adored that. So that was the end of the episode. It was very difficult for me. I want to thank everyone for checking in on me. Yeah. Especially Cheryl. <laughs> Thanks. Thanks for checking in on me in my time of need. Leave in the comments below your favorite Cheryl Hole uh, quote, uh, memory, anything to just help us get through this time. Yeah. We need it. Darby, I feel like, I feel like this really affected you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> can I, can I just ask? Um, yeah. UK? <laughs> no. <laughs> it was too it was too early. Yeah. To give us this it gift of early. Cheryl Hole back on our early. screens and to rip her away. I mean, we feel that way somewhat about uh, but Cheryl's but, but to really see, but to see her ha that happen while Baga's doing what Baga did is just so disrespectful. Yeah. Usually I find track race to be so respectful. Yeah, wait, but. wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. RuPaul went off her rocker yelling at Joe Black. And she didn't yell at Baga for wearing a Michael Myers coveralls. I'm trying to go with you. What? Jo oh, the H&M dress? The H&M dress when she went off of her head. This Baga wasn't even an H&M romper. This was like a ha Halloween town. Not Halloween town. This was a spirit Halloween costume, as far as I can. Anyway, let's, we've already given her enough attention. Yeah. And again, no hate to Baga. So no, 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 no. Happy I'm glad for her she's success. famous. So she happy obviously for her doesn't success. need this show. It's just, yeah, it was frustrating. Anyway. Okay, let's go. If you'd like to see more from us, you can join us over at patreon.com slash IMHO the show for exclusive content never before seen footage. Or you could also go ahead and just hit that subscribe button because you don't want to miss these videos. Didn't this bring you joy unless you were back on? So sorry, you shouldn't be this far into this video at this point. Absolutely. 
we said bad things. So I'm Absolutely. sorry. Sorry about that. Sorry about that. She's not watching. Find us on Cameo. Darby's on Cameo. I'm on Cameo. Chan is on Cameo. You can get oh, a message shit. from us. Shit. I have like five Cameos to film Yeah, you're, you're going to do remember. Catmeos. Do you have any? No. So book her. She's wide open. <laughs> if you would like a video from both of us, we call that Shamio because we're cutting the middleman out, you know. Honestly, some of our best work has been in Shamios. They make me laugh out loud. <laughs> yeah, because we're all they loose. They make me laugh out loud. So go ahead and head to IMH of the show, and you can go ahead and get yourself a Shamio. While you're there, go ahead and take a look at our merch. We have brand new Alexis P. Bevels merch. Huh? She learned it. She saw the t-shirt. I gave you your t-shirt tonight. Yeah, it's over it. there. I love it. Yeah. I'm gonna wear it tomorrow. Also, all month long, we are taking entries into our giveaway. We have a gift basket worth over $200 filled with beauty products from Black Beauty brands. So make sure you are donating to Brave Space Alliance, sending us that receipt, and we are entering you into that drawing. The rules and instructions are below right here. in the description box. Oh, shit, you asked me if I was okay. You said UK, and I didn't return the favor. Oh my God. Sorry. So you asked Darby UK, okay. Alexis. Huh? You the world? Oh my God, thank you for asking. Um, yeah, it's a little hot right now, but nobody's listening to me when I tell Bye. them. Bye. It's crazy. It's a wet heat. It's not a dry heat. <laughs> it's a wet heat. It's a wet heat. And I'm not just talking about my undercarriage. No. No. Do you it's because I put Kim? vodka in Do you watch here. Kath and Kim? I've started that at least three times. Same. Okay. It took me a really long time to finally get going, but now that I've gone going, I'm, I can't stop. And in the season finale of season one, because you know it's like six, seven episodes a season. Like it's very really like tiny. Mm -hmm. It's a wedding episode and they have a horse-drawn carriage. I love the idea of a horse-drawn carriage, but would you actually want a horse-drawn carriage? Would you want that element to be a part of your day? I'm gonna say no. I get a little sad the stress. thinking about them. Right. Because I don't think they're... Um... Those carriages, they need to take care of the carriages. You really have, they, they don't polish them enough or keep them in temperature controlled environments. Yeah, also it's not an issue for me, I don't mind, but they probably smell. I love the smell of horses, but I just don't think I'm ever gonna ride one again because I feel like it's kind of sad. It is sad. Are, did they get rid of them in New York? I thought they were like trying to pass that. Did they? I don't know. We should ask the next New York queen we see on Drag Race. <laughs> let's let's text Jasmine Kennedy. Oh, that I didn't tell you that. Okay, so our last U.S. Drag Race episode, I it kept failing when I was exporting it, and it was after just hours of work, and I just wanted to get the episode out. It's very stressful, and the shitty part is when it says failed, it doesn't tell you why. It just says some media within that caused it to fail, which means all of the little clips and all that kind of shit and all of the segments of us talking, one of those went wrong. So you have to figure it out. And it's just really frustrating. So I go to like figure out what happened. Mm -hmm. And I don't know why, I, this was like divine intervention. I'm expecting to sit there for an hour like figuring this out and like not looking forward to it. I see like the cursor was on Jasmine Kennedy's runway. And I was like, I don't know, maybe it's her runway. Maybe like something happened with that clip. I delete her runway, everything's fixed. <gasps> but it was Jasmine Kennedy. She was fucking me over. And I complimented the bitch. Remember, I said I liked that yeah, outfit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I even cut out all the bad stuff you said about it. Well, we don't have to, we don't have to put that. Well, it's too late, it's in there now. Well. It's New York queens. Those New York queens, them bitches. Oh, I sent you the picture of my niece. My sister put um, texted a picture of her in the in the family group chat saying that my niece sharpied on her eyebrows. <gasps> Silky. And I said, yeah, Silky's influence. That's sweet though. Look it at is. her changing the world. Yes, she's four. <laughs> yeah, but now she's got killer brows. She did get the color match right because she's red hair and it was a red sharpie. Oh my God. Where was I? Straight woman. Oh, you're a drag queen? It was a, uh, where was I? Where she was like, I want to get my eyebrows microbladed. Do you know anyone? Oh, girl cuts my hair. Wouldn't she know? She's in the beauty industry. She was like, well, you're a drag queen. Do you know where I can get my eyes microbladed? And I was like, do you know how drag makeup works? I know where you can get some Elmer's glue. <laughs> she cut my hair too short, so it's fine. Okay, bye.